Okay, I've got some new dough that I'm working with today. It's actually called mother dough bread. And I usually will take and make some 60% mother dough and put it in the refrigerator for two to three days and then add that dough to some dough that I'm making some bread with. And so I decided to make up some dough that was all mother dough. I mixed up this dough last night and it's got 250 grams of 100% starter, 400 grams of water, 25 grams of rye flour, 25 grams of whole wheat flour, 350 grams of all-purpose flour, 350 grams of bread flour, and that brings it to 1,400 grams at 60% hydration. So that would make a, a really nice mother dough that you could set and ferment in your refrigerator. I mixed this up last night and put it in the refrigerator right away. And then 12 hours later in the morning, I took the dough out and I let it set for an hour to warm up a little bit. It's been 13 hours, uh, 13 hours of auto lease for this dough. I'm going to add an additional 115 grams of water and 16 grams of salt. That will bring our dough to 1,531 grams at 73% hydration. So we're actually doing a mother dough bread with a double hydration. So this should be really fun. Instead of adding just a little bit of mother dough, I'm, I'm actually making uh, bread out of the whole piece of mother dough. And I did not fold this dough at all yet. It's just been sitting in the refrigerator and then an hour at room temperature. I just wanted to show you what the window pane already looks like. It's pretty nice. It hasn't been folded at all. The only dough development has been from sitting in the refrigerator. So that's pretty good already. It's got a pretty nice window pane there. It's a uh, it's pretty strong. You can tell by how it's tearing that it's not real strong, but it's pretty strong already and I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to add 115 grams of water and 16 grams of salt now and we'll begin to do folds so that we can incorporate the liquid and the salt.